I'll remember it, though. This woman asks us to hide her identity, afraid of the hackers who know who she is. So you say you can't tell nobody. Last week, we told you close to $60,000 was stolen from the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland County. Money meant for kids gone after its email was hacked. In a joint investigation with our sister station KFOR in Oklahoma City, we tracked down the woman who police say cashed fraudulent checks using the Boys and Girls Club account. Consumer reporter Adam Snyder spoke yeah. with the woman who says she's also a victim. I told you a second ago kind of what we've learned about this money. Oh God, and that just breaks my heart. When you hear that about the Boys and Girls Club. They're horrible. She says scammers told her she won a grand prize, money and a Mercedes. Were you excited? Oh well, yeah. The catch, she had to pay 16 grand in supposed taxes. She said she was given access to a bank account, then instructed to take out 5,000 bucks in cash, wrap it in Christmas paper and mail it. They're basically trying to hide it from the U.S. Postal Service as it goes through the mail scanning equipment. Charlotte cybersecurity expert so Teresa Payton has studied these types of crimes for decades. What's going on? here what do you make of this it sounds like a money laundering fraudster meets money mules type of scheme the former white house chief information officer under president george w bush says these type of sophisticated schemes often originate out of eastern europe or russia recruiting victims who have no clue what's going on to help move stolen money around they need a human being to go to an atm or to cash a check or to deposit a check and that's where the money mules, most times they have no idea they're also being victimized. I wish I could tell you that this doesn't happen often, but it happens all the time. It breaks my heart. It's so cliche, but it seems too good to be true. It probably is. Police are investigating. In Charlotte, Mac Grant, Fox 46.